A man stranded in the middle of Lake Travis for more than an hour survives with no boat. 29-year-old Josh Walters and his 20-year-old friend jumped off their boat last night to go for a swim when that boat drifted away. He was stuck treading water with no life vest while his friend swam back to shore to call out for help. KXAN's Jared Wise has their story. Now, this is where the young woman swam ashore last night. The gentleman was left about 200 yards in the middle of Lake Travis. And after a long, exhaustive search by search crews, they were expecting the worst. I'm in my office in the house, and I hear my wife scream, and we came out, and there was this young girl that was just hysterical. Doug Gherkin and his family got a big surprise late Wednesday evening after Ashley Singley came knocking on their door, frantic, looking for help to save her friend Josh still drifting alone in the middle of Lake Travis. This is one of the first times that we've had something this close that I was really sure was going to have a tragic end. I definitely didn't want to die alone. Now we spoke to Ashley by phone, who's now safely back home in San Antonio. I never screamed like that in my, in my life. Like, I was using my whole body to scream, and I was yelling and trying, when boats were going by me, I was trying to wave them down, and they didn't see me. That's when I just knew that by screaming, I was just going to... My body out. Instead, she knew the only way she could make it to shore was to calm down. And thankfully, she did make it, still worried about her friend. Emergency crews completed an exhausting search to find him, and they almost gave up hope. About 15 minutes after we got there, which would be about an hour into the incident, we could just see some arms of, of a male patient out in the middle of the lake. We could just barely see the arms waving. He was at the end of his energy level. He, he was struggling. That's an amazing feat for him to be able to stay above water for that long. He was thankful to us, and he was also thankful, I think, to God, too, because I think he got a little help uh, yesterday afternoon. And at first, that gentleman refused treatment through EMS, but he later decided to go in to be treated for, of course, some exhaustion and dehydration as a result of his long, long swim. Reporting on Lake Travis, Jared Wise, KXAN, Austin News.